Welcome back to Techno Babylon. We've come here to talk to another lead in the mindjacking case, but before that, let's look at this cute little cleaning robot. It's like a Roomba, except it looks kind of like it's built like a tank. Nah, my apartment building's already got one. I wonder if it has lasers. Dust killing lasers. Dust mite killing lasers. Janitorial drone patrols the hallways, executing its adaptive planning software to track down dirt. Oh, is that its docking station? The dock in the wall, where the autonomous vacuum cleaner gets its power and offloads its waste. There doesn't there's a notice above it. The management thanks you for allowing the sanitation machinery and staff to continue their work by not obstructing the docks. These stations are for the use of custodial equipment only. That's right, they do vacuum up dirt, so I guess they would have to offload it somewhere, right? In this part of town, even the buildings look lazy and decadent. <laughs> the windows won't open for insurance reasons. Safety hazard. Just like metal utensils. I don't get the appeal of this cubist stuff. Looks more like abstract impressionism to me. A classic piece by Chandler, if I'm not mistaken. You know, that's a lot less impressive when you can call up a search inside your head. You know, I wonder in the future, you know, in this future where people have, when they have the ability to just kind of pull up whatever they want inside of their own head, what's going to become of game shows where you're expected to answer questions? Because then anybody could just like pretty much instantly get the, get the answer, right? Would those kinds of game shows just disappear? I, I guess they would. A panoramic fisheye camera. Probably there so that the vendor walls can decide whether or not they want to let someone in. Vanderwall, you there? You sure he's in? He told us to meet him here. Central hasn't logged any departures from this floor since this morning either. Wait, don't tell me they've been mindjacked. I've got a bad feeling about this. They are lead in the case, after all. If the Mindjacker or somebody maybe working with the Mindjacker found out about that, they might try to eliminate them. We haven't got time for this, Gil. I don't think he's answering. Okay, in that case, what the hell do I do? Jilt the, the door controls? Whoa, check out Regis taking the Elliot Ness approach. We don't have time to hang around outside. I'm just being expedient, as Central puts it. Whatever. Vanderwall's not going to be happy about you busting his door. Well, I've got a feeling he's in danger or dead, so who gives a damn? Let's go. Oh, God. Gail, you in here? Oh, excuse us, miss. I'm Dr. Regis. This is Dr. Lau. We're cell agents. Isn't she covered in blood? Miss, are you all right? Regis, this is a synth. <laughs> the look on your face is priceless. It's a very expensive one, but it's still a synth. And apparently out of charge. Something else about it bothers me more. In the blood? I know. I sure hope that isn't blood. I'm pretty sure that's blood. Or else it just started, like, chopping tomatoes? Very vibrant tomatoes? Or it was painting? No, it's probably bl blood. Okay. You know, I'm of two minds right now. On one hand, I want to examine everything because adventure game and because interesting. On the other hand, I should be looking for the Vanderwall that I'm here to meet since they're probably in danger. They didn't answer, and the maid is deactivated and appears to be covered in blood. Or ketchup. I'm just gonna examine everything. The kitchen is furnished with a top-of-the-line food machine. Hey, this one makes its plates out of porcelain. 
And in a place like this, I'll bet it doesn't even have protein mash on its menu. Hi, I'm Sheffy! Oh god, no. What can I get for you? I guess Sheffy's in every single food machine, even the high-end ones. What are you? I'm Sheffy, your friendly food helper! Alright, what's this machine you come in? This masterpiece is the THD Food Gourmand Range Comestible Synthesizer! It's the best thing since sliced bread, which it even makes! Sounds like it's trying too hard to be helpful. I like helping! Helping is fun! <laughs> What's on the menu? If you're feeling packish, I could whip up some frilled eggs and white wine sauce! Or how about some nice tartare rums? Sounds better than what mine can do. Or if you want some of Mr. Gill's favorite, I could always make toaster pastries! <laughs> Can make all those fancy foods, and that's one of his favorites, toaster pastries. What's the difference between you and the one I've got at home, the J115? Oh, I'm much newer. My dynamic protein stereo lithography system means I can make nearly anything. I've got so much more flavor treatment. I can make just about any taste you desire. What if I wanted some of that protein slop that mine makes? Ooh, I'm sorry, I can't do that. But how about some truffles? It's a snob, then. <laughs> how much did you set the Vanderwalls back, then? I'm only 410,000 quanta from all good retailers. That's more than I make in a year. Oh my god. These people can apparently afford the finer things. Can you make... Can you make Yang Chun Mian? Ni Jirong Fang Ma? She won. Ni Yu Mei Yu Mei by Pink Kaoya? You Mei Yu! Okay, I'm sold. <laughs> Never mind. Aside from the pipes running to the food machine, the cabinet contains a set of knives and a tube of cooking gel. Uh, wait, what's cooking gel? Cooking gel? Uh... Oh, I actually picked it up. What the hell am I gonna be doing? Why did I take these things? Wouldn't Lao kinda go like, hey, Regis, why did you just take a knife and some cooking gel? This, oh. This exothermic wetware gel is used for food preparation. The gel cooks food that it's mixed with, releasing chemical energy as heat at a desired temperature while it breaks down. I think I'm gonna have to use this for something. Yeah, I can make it super, super hot. Oh my god, you can make this thing obscenely hot. This has gotta be dangerous. Look at that, and go all the way up to like 482 Fahrenheit. Could burn through a whole lot of things. Could probably burn through a lock, I would imagine. The large refrigerator has a combination lock built into the door. Really? Why? It's just a fridge. Is this refrigerator locked? Who the hell locks a refrigerator? Maybe they've got really expensive tastes? Although, they've got the food machine as well. Perhaps they've got something else in there. Hmm. I feel like a body might be in the refrigerator. What do you think? Is this ref... Who the... Maybe... Th Although... So maybe I need to put the... Uh, like, set the gel to really, really hot and then put it on the fridge to open it? But let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> in quotes. Art. Is that what Regis thinks of it? It's not actual art, it's... Quotes. Art. Another example of questionable art hangs from the ceiling. This one doesn't look like it has any useful components you can remove. An antiquated PC terminal built into an even older musical instrument. Talk about anachronisms. I bet this thing still uses magnetic memory. Can you breach it? Sorry, no can do. Anything before wetware isn't compatible with my wiring. I guess that's one way of making it more secure. Yeah, I'm guessing that's exactly the point. Biometric. User Sneudir Bucky. Yep, I nailed that pronunciation. Oh, yeah. Oh, forgotten. Guess I probably need to do that, get a hint.
Wait, what is this? I don't know what the heck that is. So, wait, I need biometric and a password? Both? Let's see, hint our special place. That is not very helpful right now. With hundreds of billions of potential color, color numbers to try, dialing randomly isn't likely to aid your investigation. 911! Oh wait, I am 911. The kitchen has a machine for preparing and serving drinks, sitting in a nest of wine bottles. Howdy, partner. What can I get y'all? <laughs> oh god. These rich people's AIs for their food and drink machines. I mean, the chef one is not actually a rich person AI, it's just the same AI for all the machines. But this one's very fancy, very refined. Just like the wine in the wine rack, I suppose. What do you do here, then? Why, well, I'm the bartender. I fix up drinks for the fine folk who live here. Anything else? Anything else? Heck, drinks is a whole lot of stuff to know. Why, I'm the foremost expert on fine drinking in these here parts. So, if anyone wanted to know what to put into a drink... They'd come to me, sure as shooting. Well, as excellent as it is, can you tell me what happened here? There's been a bit of an incident. You don't happen to have seen what went on. Hey, mister. I don't just go blabbing my customer's secrets like that. He's bluffing. He never saw anything. You're just bitter you never left that wall. Hey, it's a fine job I have here. I ain't seen nothing since Mr. Vanderwall got his wine out of the rack this evening. Vodka. On the rocks. Twist of lime. Regis? Fine. Make it two. <laughs> I noticed it didn't actually do it. Yeah, I, I would imagine you'd need authorization for it to dispense drinks. I'll speak to you later. I'll keep your tab open. They've got a refined taste in wines, I imagine. Actually, no. Hmm? They're all either a couple of years old or fabricated. Weird. Maybe they're doing something to the wine. Like what? Well, say they were also adding amphetamines to it, for example. If they accidentally ruined it, it'd be better if it was a cheaper wine. Would you care to explain why they would want to add amphetamines to it? Is that a thing? Hello? Hmm, I think I know what's wrong with it. And what's that? Hey, Max. What's up? Oh my god, that's a lot of dialogue. Well first, what exactly do you think is wrong with the synthetic maid? Any idea what's wrong with the maid? I couldn't even get a return signal out of it. My guess would be that it's run out of power. Any way we can fix that? It's supposed to charge itself, but apparently it hasn't managed to do that. How? We can't haul that thing to a socket. Hmm. We'll have to charge the power cell itself. In a platform like that, the cell's usually in the upper torso, about where the heart would be. You reckon that'd be easier to charge? It's only about as big as your fist. Just have to get it out of her. Okay. Sounds kind of awkward, though. About where her heart would be, so does that, does that mean I have to take off her clothes? Give me an update on the mind-jacking case. Labs come back with the report on the body at Animus. We can definitely link that one to our investigation. Same M.O. Victim was wired, brain burnt, but not consistent with a straightforward murder. More like a rapid, intrusive, and destructive brain scan. So, we're still going with memory theft rather than elaborate assassinations. Exactly. No conclusive patterns on targets, I'm afraid. Vanderwall said he would give us a lead on the next victim, though. So much for him retiring from organized crime. How are you holding up? I'm okay. A little hungry. I meant about what happened at the station. I think you did the hard work on that one. Don't let it go to your head, though. Why do you think someone would lock their refrigerator? Same reason you'd lock anything else. Something valuable inside it. But what? Some people keep wetware at low temperatures to stop GGs. And GGs are? Oh, gray goo. Catastrophic exponential reproduction. Under certain conditions, the fabricators and the wetware make more of themselves. And low temperatures prevent that? Not really, but higher temperatures definitely accelerate the growth. People like to think they're in control, though. That bomber. He was American, wasn't he? He certainly had the accent. Sounded Texan. Did you know him? Dr. Lau. Texas is an enormous place. <laughs> I do not happen to know every single other person who lived there. And besides, I left well before he would have been born. 
Do you ever regret doing that? Not for a second, especially after seeing how it's gotten now. There's more to what was between you and that kid, wasn't there? Like you said, you never met him before, but it seemed personal to you. You're very perceptive, Dr. Lau. It's useful for an investigator. You want me to stop asking? <sighs> There's a reason that kids like him and hundreds others exist. It's not because the seditionists thought that weaponizing the human body was the biggest innovation since air power, but the engineers that got to make these kids, for whatever reason, didn't say no. Regis, I... You could say I knew him too well, inside and out. That is what bothers me. Any luck with the Mindjacker's airship? Still nothing. Like I said, it just vanished. And Central still claims there wasn't anything there at all. But we saw it, Regis. Exactly. Something's not right. I wonder if Central's hiding something. Why do you hate Central, Charlie? What? I don't hate Central. You're always arguing with it. I've seen you sabotage more cameras than anyone. It does so much for Newton. The city runs like a well-oiled machine. Maybe, but I think it's working in inappropriate areas. What would count as inappropriate for a city coordinator? Like this. Fundamentally, policing is a human matter. Machines and synthetics don't commit crimes. I don't expect them to be able to understand how perpetrators think and act. So, you're old-fashioned. You'd rather not talk about it. Maybe later? Keep at it, Max. Can do, Regis. Alright, let's see if we can get the battery pack out of her. Hello? Hmm, I... Uh, wait, didn't you say I'm supposed to get it out of her? Hello? Hmm. Maybe not yet? Um, okay, I'm just gonna go up the stairs. Jesus oh, Jesus. What the hell happened in here? Did someone get to Vanderwall before he could talk? Maybe it's a domestic gone bad? The blackmailer said nothing about this. Possibly didn't even expect this themselves. Still, you need to find what they demanded before the whole apartment is picked apart by forensic drones. We should check around first. What? We need to get a look at it ourselves before the crime scene people wreck it. I'd like to point out that you yourself, Lau... <coughs> Excuse me. I'd like to point out that you yourself, Lau, are basically standing in the blood. So, like, you're kind of wrecking the crime scene yourself. <laughs> but yes, I completely agree. Good idea. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Who are you and what have you done with Charlie Regis? What do you mean? You're unusually cavalier today. You got something on your mind? I mean, I know you don't usually care what Central thinks about regulations, but... This time, I think it could help us get a lead on our investigation. Besides, all the time we waste, the Mindjacker may have found their next victim. I like this, Regis. Let's get investigating. You feel glad that Max suggested it, and not you. Now you have the free reign, you need to find the device the voice wanted. Okay, so the synthetic maid was somehow involved in this, because she's covered in blood, obviously. I mean, obviously at this point, it's blood. So she was here when it happened. She must have been up here. I wonder if she did it, perhaps? Perhaps she was mind-controlled or hacked? And forced to do this? And that drained all her power or something? And that's why she didn't go back to find a recharging station, because she was too uh, messed up or traumatized or something after after being forced to do this. I suspect that may be what happened. This is just a fucking pile of body parts, isn't it? Aren't those hands? Jesus Christ. This is completely unnecessary. I mean, if you just wanted to kill somebody, just eliminate somebody, this is way over the top. Standing out from the festival of gore is a human hand. It appears to be fairly intact. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me I'm gonna need to use that for the biometric scans. Don't- oh. Oh! That- you didn't even, like, put it in a bag or anything, or even use gloves! That is... horrible! It's unsafe, it's- you just contaminated the evidence, it's all sorts of bad. I think I'm carrying as much of Vanderwall around as I want to. 
Yeah. It's like they had an industrial accident. In the bedroom? An old-fashioned chemical photograph in a silver portrait sits by the bed. Chemical photographs are old-fashioned now. Makes sense. Photograph of two men, a younger Gil and Takari Vanderwall, by an urban river. In the background, the Eiffel Tower is dwarfed by looming glass skyscrapers. Back of the photograph has a note written by hand. The wedding, August 2071. Hmm, could that be a password? Could that be related to the password? I'm going to write that down just in case. August 2071. It probably is. This pad appears to control the floor-mounted wardrobe. The panel seems to be showing an error message. T-H-E! Systems, floor, robe, storage control. General error 151, mechanical error. Uh, obstructions... Okay. Obstructed. Coat hanger. The wire coat hanger seems to be stuck in the join between the floor and the f floor drobe. Floor drobe? Wardrobe, floor drobe. I guess that makes sense. Alright. Well, if we take that out, maybe we can open it. After a couple of tugs, the hanger comes loose. Alright, let's try it now. See anything interesting? There's an empty gun rack in here. Ammunition, maintenance tools, cleaning spray, but no gun. In their closet? Maybe it's their outdoor gear. There's fishing equipment in here as well. Are you taking stuff again? <laughs> it might be useful. Call it a hunch. I think I'm carrying as much... I have no idea who that's supposed to be. Shall I trance it for you? There's no such thing as comfortable ignorance anymore, is there? Huh? You old people are weird. I don't think I can justify taking... You don't think you can justify taking that? Can you justify taking um, a fishing rod, a coat hanger, um, Vanderwall's hand, cooking gel, and a kitchen knife? Oh, and his personal photograph? You're weird, Regis. This is Dakari Vanderwall, Gil's husband. I can see four gunshot wounds in his chest. It was either these or he drowned, but that's kind of academic at this stage. So the gun was used to shoot him. There's something at the bottom of the pool. A pistol? A murder weapon? One of them, maybe. It's too deep to reach. Not without severely contaminating the crime scene anyway. <laughs> severely contaminating the crime scene? What have you been doing walking over blood puddles and picking up the hand? Alright, well, maybe we can use the fishing rod to get it. That is just so weird. Nothing biting? There's nothing on the end of the line. No way I can hook that pistol. I, I can't believe Lau is okay with this. And she's not like, okay, maybe we should call in the crime scene people. They have tools. Alright, I probably need to do this, now right? it's got one enormous hook. There we go. <laughs> this, is just, this is just absurd. <laughs> nothing biting? The hook sinks, but I can't catch that pistol at the bottom. Hmm? It needs more? What the heck does it need? I'd just like to point out again that I'm using a fishing rod to get a pistol from a bloody jacuzzi. Just want to, you know, point that out again. I can just about make out a pistol at the bottom. Careful how you get it out the- You're the one who's <laughs> always lecturing me about contaminating crime scenes with DNA, after all. <laughs> um, okay, why is it not grabbing the pistol, though, even with that? Does it need- What does it need? Cooking gel? No. 
A knife? No. Something magnetic? I don't know. Forget it for now. I probably have all I need to actually get into the computer system. Also, can I get out your battery? Hello? Hmm. Hold on, maybe that's what the knife's for? Like, I was thinking if it's in her chest, maybe I need to cut her clothes to get at the battery. That's kind of creepy, I guess. But. What are you up to? Just doing some surgery. Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought it was in the front. Okay, um. Uh, where could I charge that? Because this looks like a charger. But I can't use anything there, it's not even clickable. So how would I charge this? <laughs> Hit it with my jolt gun? Could I use my compliance tool to charge the power cell? The amount of charge it lets off in one go would just fry it. It seemed like a good idea. You'd need something a little slower and less destructive to charge it. Hmm. I don't think I have anything slower and less destructive, do I? Traveler? Oh, hey. I never tried to actually use my Traveler. What is this? So I can call Lau. This is gonna be an awkward call. Lau, you there? Uh, Regis? Right here. <laughs> what else can I do? Read the news... What is that? Open Laser Paper Stone? Oh, is that a game? Laser Paper Stone, Rock Paper Scissors. Guide. Welcome to Paper Laser Stone, a modern take on the centuries-old classic. Rock beats laser, paper beats rock, laser beats paper. You have limited ammunition though, so think carefully. This looks exciting! Awesome, I lost. Awesome. I lost again. Hmm. It looks like the AI always does the same move. So I think maybe you can predict this. Is there any point to me doing this? What if you win? What happens? Why, why am I doing this? I think I should stop doing this. <laughs> Let's stop doing that. Case file. Oh, nothing that I haven't already read. Anything new in the news? Yeah, this is new. Hungarian artists to visit Newton. The world-renowned father-daughter art team of Tabor and... Kami Puskas, or something like that. I'm not sure how to pronounce that A. Um, will be bringing their ex exhibition to the city of Newton this summer as parts of the Urian Federation's Cultural Ambassador Program. Known for their pioneering fusion of classical styles with the interactivity of the trance, the pair rose to global attention after the EF Arts Minister Jerome Jurgen became so overwhelmed with emotion that he had to be placed into a coma to recover. It was an epiphany, he told uh, Chishiki. As though all of my life I'd been missing something I hadn't known I lacked, and this was the diagram showing the void in my soul. Other viewers have reported similarly transformative experiences, though skeptics believe that these may simply have to do with more direct neural programming possible through the trance than with the art itself. They're just jealous that they're not wired replied the duo when this was suggested. Okay, as cool as that sounds, I would not want to view any piece of art that may cause me to have to be put into a coma to recover. Sports, don't care, weather, same as before. Okay, uh, food machine, get the food machine machine charge it. It doesn't take this kind of power cell. No. Let's try to get into the refrigerator, so let's actually... That doesn't... That doesn't... Let's actually max this thing out, I suppose. 
it cooks the food that it's mixed with, so it might need to be mixed with food to even start releasing the heat, I'm thinking. So I might need to actually get food from the machine. That's not going to get it open. Hmm. This is weird. This is really, really weird. This game is more... It's more classical adventure game than I thought. Like, this is totally classic adventure game. I just come to talk to somebody, and there's only two rooms in this house, and already I've got, like, half a dozen items, and I'm trying to charge a power cell and use a hand for biometric scans and use cooking gel to cook something and a fishing rod to get a gun out of a bloody jacuzzi. <laughs> this is really weird. Hi, I'm Sheppy. What can I... Can you make Texas gumbo? Uh, of course. Looking for a taste of home? I've never found anywhere here that can do good gumbo. Can you make barbecue brisket? Sure can. American style? That'll do. Extra sauce? You bet. Protein complex A or B? Pardon? What protein complex do you want me to make the meat out of? Uh, beef? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have any real beef. Can you make chicken fried steak? Absolutely. You sure like your meat. Can you make Texas gumbo? <gasps> no, uh, don't repeat. I've never... Never mind. Bye! Okay, I guess the next thing to do is just try to log into here, I guess. Um, okay, so let's just use the hand. It's definitely his hand, but the system won't recognize it. Hmm? Why not? What's wrong with it? Is it... I don't know... dirty? You cover the hand in the hot gel, it begins to sizzle and burn. Uh, wait, why did I do that? I mean, I just tried to do it because I'm trying random stuff, but what? why would I actually want to do that? I am now burning his hand. Is that going to make it recognized? Hmm. Something smells good. Uh... yeah... It's definitely his hand. Why did I do that? It, it didn't even do anything. That's so creepy. I'm such a fucking terrible investigator. What is what is wrong with Regis? My God. Can that I do, doesn't need. Can I do it again? Yep. Hmm. Is it too hot? Let's go for... I don't know... Warm? Like, body temperature? What is body temperature? Like, 80... 78... 82... Somewhere around there. Maybe it needs to be body temperature, the hand. It begins to cool. Okay. It's definitely his... What is the average body temperature? I'm actually gonna Google that. Average human body temperature. Um... Oh no, wait, I was way too low. 90, like 98.6 Fahrenheit? Somewhere around there? Yeah, let's try that. I don't think they're compatible. Whoops. There we go! So... <laughs> that was the problem. Huh. That's... weird. I mean, I'm glad I figured that out, but I could easily see that really, really stumping some people. I wish I'd told you that the hand was too cool. I mean, I guess it wouldn't make sense for a security system to actually tell you that. If it's trying to be secure, then it wouldn't want to give you any help in overcoming the security. But still. Damn. That's also really, really creepy. That I'm putting cooking gel onto a severed hand that I just picked up from a crime scene to hack into somebody's computer. Ah, Regis. Regis, Regis, Regis. Okay. Our special place. So that's gotta be this, right? It says, our special place. Like, maybe it's not a numeric password, because you can type in text. So... Well... If it's the Eiffel Tower, then it's gotta be Paris, right? Pretty damn sure the Eiffel Tower is in Paris. 
It also could be the wedding date, I suppose, but that's not what the password hint says. It doesn't say anything about a date. It says about a place, so... Yeah, there we go. Paris. I'm a damn good detective. Shannon, the footballer. Question is, a friend of Dakari from sports, or a client of Giel's criminal hookups? It's about time you phoned. So do you want these bootleg Blackwell games or not? Bryce Stratford, the actor? The Vanderwalls sure get around. Stepford and Son, Synthetic Associates. Liam Stepford speaking. Ah, oh, Mr. Vanderwall. I trust everything is satisfactory. Mr. Stepford, my name is Dr. Charles Regis. I'm a cell agent. Oh my, yes. How may I help, Dr. Regis? I'm investigating the death of one of your clients, Giel Vanderwall. Oh my, yes. That sounds terrible. The synth in question is powered down. We need to ask it some questions. It shall need to be revitalized then. Oh my, yes. Likely it misgaged its own consumption rate, was unable to reach a charging point. Is there any way to fix it? Oh my, yes. You can remove the power cell from the upper torso. It will be concealed by the pseudoderma layer of outer skin, but this can be removed with a sharp implement. So... I have to perform surgery. You will need to remove the power cell and charge it separately. The platform should return to full operation thereafter. Oh yes. That's all I need to know for now. Please don't hesitate to get in contact if you think we can help. Oh my, yes. Good evening, Dr. Regis. Uh, hi? Surely there are better means of checking in than breaking into a suspect's terminal. It's not like we need a warrant for it. No, but your traveler is more secure. Central out. We're sorry, but the number you've dialed... I think we'd better save that call for after we understand what's going on. Yeah, no. 
Al body shop. We've been shut down. So, uh, if uh, we got your stuff, uh, we'll try to get it to you, but who knows? If this is the cops. You can kiss my. Sorry, wrong number. Hey, salut, t'es bien sur le répondeur d'Anton Richard, alors laisse-moi un message. Hello? Who's there? Hey, it's Pinky. How can I help you? Sorry. Call our operator, your call is important. Thanks for calling Blackmail R Us. Don't ask, and we won't ask you. Sorry. Caleb Brown. I swear to God, I have the money for you. Just please state your name, age, your location will be triangulated shortly. I'd better not call the cleaners. Hey, Lau. Reckon the building's repair staff can deal with the synth maid? I guess no. They're here for pipes and appliances. Damn. Better think of something else. Some stuff. Meet me on 12 a.m. on 38th Wonder. Sorry, wrong number. How did you get this number? Sorry. Someone like Dakari Vanderwall's probably still got contacts in the world of sport. Hello, Mino? Is Lucas living with the fishes? Is Jimmy the squirrel getting fitted for his cement shoes? Did you pick up my dry cleaning? Hello, Mino? Did you... This is opening hours. Didn't you hear me? Nina John. Found someone you know? I... probably not. I think it's just a coincidence. And even if it was her, I don't think I ever want to hear from her again. Hey, it's Kay Bradbury. You know what I... You fail only if you stop writing. Hello? Sorry. Hello? Is this Solomon? God, I've been trying to call you for... Sorry. Hey, this is Rocco. Sleeping or living a way more interesting life than you'll ever have? Uh. Hi, this is Salome Vestra. I'll get back to you and... Huh. It's about time you phoned. Said you... Sir Bryce Stratford. The Vanderwall's sure good... Welcome to... What? Sorry. Almost no. The kind of people on. That's the president of. Oh my god. I was just about to do it. I really. Sorry. Hi, you reached Zalman Nosos. I wonder if this is. You reached Jude. I will be. I'm not a. Expensive looking fishing rod with a hook constructed from a wire coat hanger. It, do 
It doesn't... That... It doesn't... I don't... CI wetware systems beginning reboot. Beginning recovery from critical failure. Basic input output executing. NBR unified bootloader executing kernel. Kernel executing SBININIT. Calibrating CI state with USD. Oh, that is better. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, hello. Je m'appelle Chantel. I am Monsieur Gale and Monsieur Dakarai's maid. You're a synthetic maid? Pardon, mademoiselle. I, I do not understand. A synth. Excusez-moi, what is a synth? It certainly stays in character. I uh, help the masters with their household things. And where were you made? Mademoiselle, I was born in France. Yeah, because all French people I know run on graphene power cells. What can you tell me about the Vanderwalls? They are the best employers a young French girl could hope to have. Are they, um, are they really? Quite so, monsieur. So loving. And with such exquisite taste. Wow. They must have got this one customized for sycophancy. Do you know anyone who might want to hurt them? Oh no, monsieur. They are beloved by all. What the hell happened upstairs? How do you mean, monsieur? The room's recent redecoration. Shades of Giel everywhere. And the body of Dakari Vanderwall, shot to pieces in the tub. Any opinions on this? Oh, Monsieur, I cannot discuss this. I have been told, most strictly, not to discuss what goes on upstairs. Even if it includes the double homicide of your owner? I have my orders. What would Monsieur Giel think if I went against him? Probably not a great deal anymore. She doesn't quite seem to get what's happened might not have been written with a comprehension of abstracts like death. Two men have been killed upstairs. There's blood and human remains all over the room, and all over you. If you weren't directly involved, then you're at least a material witness. I am sorry, Monsieur. I cannot say what happens upstairs. Monsieur Gill, he values his privacy greatly. How about we take you down to cell and manually pull your memory apart? Regis, it's a synth. Threatening it won't help. Have you had your safety protocols removed? Monsieur? Would you be able to do anything Mr. Vanderwald told you? Anything? Anything. Monsieur, you should not ask such questions. I am just the maid. Why the hell did they get a synth like this? Surely you will ask, monsieur. All the best maids in the world, they are French. And the best lovers, I hear. What are you implying, mademoiselle? I never had Giel down as quite such a... Francophile. I am also very discreet, monsieur. When you care for someone's home, there are a lot of things that you hear. Or do. Mademoiselle, such slander. And even if true, I, I would not say. I have Monsieur Gilles' confidence to think of. What can you remember before you ran out of power? Monsieur, I remember many things. My memory is holographic. But I have Monsieur Gilles' confidence to consider. Even if Cell requires it? I cannot simply discuss what happens around here without his permission. He certainly paid for loyalty. What do you do around here? I do the cleaning, the cooking, and the shopping. And that's it? 
Monsieur, it would not be proper for me to say. So you are a sex bot. Mon dieu, how dare you infer such a thing. Thanks, we'll keep looking around. My pleasure to evict, monsieur. Sons, Liam Ste we believe this synth to be a material witness, or involved, in a murder. Oh my, no! How horrific! It's unwilling to cooperate with us, though. Vanderwall seems to have ordered it to remain silent about certain areas of his home. Oh my, secrecy is one of many reasons that users opt for non-OEM personalities. If you wish, I could have one of my engineers disassemble its mind state in order to recover memories. This may take several hours, depending upon the algorithm used for laying down synaptic engrams. I'm afraid time is a critical factor, Mr. Stepford. Is there any way I can do it here? Oh, there may be. Oh my, yes. I shall transfer the necessary tool. What's this splitter for? CI platform mines are modular, Dr. Regis. Oh my, yes. All are made of three components, personality, role, and platform memory. The maid's desire not to tell you likely stems from her personality. So if she had a different personality... Something more helpful. She might tell us what we need to know. It may not be quite so simple, but that is the foundation of the idea, oh my yes. Where would I find other mind state modules? Any other platform that runs a communicative interface. It is not simply limited to synthetic platforms, oh my no! What does a personality do in a synth? The personality determines a great deal of its behavior, oh my yes! In many cases, it's the most noted it governs how it may act. This one thinks it's a friend. Perhaps copied from the mind state. That's all clear. The CI mind splitting program that Liam Stepford crossloaded to my traveler. Its job is to break the mind states of CI units down to personality, role, and platform memory units. Thank you. 